Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope all is well. Auto Mata is his nickname. I'm referring to Colorado kicker Alejandro Mata. Now Alejandro Mata, he transferred in from Jackson State and he recently showed out in practice. And we're going to talk about it. 53 yards, bro. That's nothing to him. Also, another Jackson State transfer wide receiver Willie Gaines, he responds to a vlogger that had a few things to say about him. And I'm going to talk about that. Coach Prime lines up in practice after challenging Alejandro Mata. We're going to talk about all that. Stay tuned. Guys, please do me a favor. Before we get into this video, please give us a like comment share and subscribe also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops all of that will be greatly appreciated by me i'm like everybody else i can't wait for the season to start and it's only a few weeks away now september 2nd against tcu i cannot wait for that game fox is going to be covering it i'm going to make sure all my plans for that couple of hours on that Saturday is cleared. My slate is going to be cleared for that game. Before I get started, um, in the description of this video, there's a few links there to players' pages and stuff like that. Check them out. Quite a few players are vlogging and things like that. So make sure you stop by there to get their perspective. All right, so... It was exciting in practice. Um, I saw some footage of Alejandro Mata kicking a 53-yarder. Coach Prime challenged him. He said, listen, I'm ready. He said, you can kick 53 yards? He said, I did that already. And then next thing you know, he lined it up and kicked it 53 yards. Alejandro Mata, uh, for those that don't know, his freshman season at Jackson State, he made second team all swag. He never missed a field goal in that season, his freshman campaign. Now, he did have two field goals blocked, but it wasn't his fault. But other than those two field goals that were blocked, he never missed a field goal. That's why people call him Automata. And he was a part of that Louis Luggage, trust me. Yes, the kicker. Just think about the, how good this Colorado team is. Even the kicking um, team is deep. You know, they got Jace Philly, they got the others, and they got Alejandro Mata. He's the real deal. Um, out of high school, coming into college, he was rated a five-star kicker. And the reason why he went to Jackson State is to play with Coach Prime. But Mata kicking 53 yards is, is no surprise to me. I think he's ready. I think he can play this year and um, be one of the top kickers in the Pac-12. He's one of my favorite uh, players on the team, actually. You know, um, he's a kicker, and um, he also plays soccer in his youth in Brazil, in Mexico, in different places. And he decided to take up kicking, and he excelled in it. And here we are now. Now the world gets to really know who Alejandro Mata is now. And mark my words, remember I said this, in his future, he's going to be playing on Sunday in the NFL. Remember I said that. I had said on an earlier video, he reminds me of Martin Gramatica. Remember I said that. All right, so Willie Gaines. Now, Willie Gaines is another player. He was a part of that Louis Luggage, um, SRT Willie Gaines. He recently responded in um, Reach the People Media video in regarding a vlogger. Now, this vlogger titled his video, uh, Willie Gaines just went viral for saying this about the Colorado Buffs. Now, let me just stop there real quick. I don't think he went viral for his post. I didn't even, let me tell you something. If he went viral, I didn't know about it. So I'm like, did he really go viral? Because I didn't know about the post that he made about the number 20 jersey and people not believing in him. When I went to look at the post, I said, maybe he's spitting some bars. Maybe he can rap a little bit. That's only that's what I took away from it. I didn't take any controversy from it. I just thought he was just spitting some bars. I don't know. But then the thumbnail says, I don't think they believe in me. So when you look at the thumbnail, it's Willie Gaines. And then you have Coach Prime in the thumbnail. And it says, I don't think they really believe in me. It's making it seem like um, the coaches don't believe in him because that vlogger, posted a thumbnail with Coach Prime picture and Willie Gaines and it said that I don't think they believe in me and then it was titled Willie Gaines just went viral for saying this um, for saying this about the Colorado Buffs which um, this title is misleading the video is misleading because we don't know what Willie Gaines meant and um, he certainly didn't go viral for it because I didn't know about it you know, if he did go viral, I'm sure it would have been on my radar. But when I looked at what he said, I'm like, he just spitting some bars. That's what it seemed like because it sounded like it rhymed, you know. So I didn't take much from what Willie Gaines said. He is. Let me tell you something for those. He must not know who Willie Gaines is, because if you go back and look at his play at Jackson State, he is a quality wide receiver. 
Not only that, he's fast. Fast Willie Gaines. He don't call himself SRT for no reason. You know, the SRT car, you know, that's a fast car. But um, he was a he played a very integral role in um, Jackson State's success. And I expect him to do the same at Colorado. Let me tell you something. Uh, one thing you, you can't teach, you can't teach speed. And he has speed. You can only improve on speed. But this is something that is God given to him. He even I even um, remember he did an interview and he said that speed is something that he always had. He's always been fast. So this is something that was given to him, you know, by way of his DNA. You know, occasionally, you know, videos are made. And I would say if I was the player, you just got to take these videos with a grain of salt and um, just ignore them. There's no need to respond um, to these videos and whatnot. Um, you know what you can do. If you know you're a talented receiver, that's all that matters. You know, the chatter and stuff is the chatter, you know. Um, but I must admit, the title in the video was misleading. Coach Prime lined it up, you know. He had challenged uh, Mata, but he lined up, you know, as Mata kicked the field goal. So that's what I had said there. Coach Prime um, lined up in the game. Uh, man, it, it's, it must be a dream to play for Coach Prime, man. Um, he keeps it fun on the field. You know, he challenges players. You never know when he's going to challenge you. And Mata was up for the task. And uh, he passed the test. I don't know who the kicker is going to be against that game um, against TCU on September 2nd. But if Mata is the kicker, I'm not going to be surprised. And that leads me to say this. I don't know who's going to be the starters. I mean, we know Shador is the quarterback. These, these practices that we see, these um, bits and pieces of footage, that doesn't tell the whole story. We don't see the, the full practice, so we don't know what's going on. But I must say, when you uh, when that season starts on September 2nd, we will see the re recipe. And it might take one to three games or four games to really see what the team is about. But I do know they're going to play fast. That's what I do know. But every last one of those receivers on the Colorado squad are good. Every last one of them are good. I, I mean, man, they when I say they put a team together, they put a team together, let me tell you. Any one of those players can um, start. They even put a great defense together, man. I just can't wait for the season. What say you? I'm out. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.